Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball so much so my channel is filled with tips, tricks, hacks, and anything you can ever need to know about volleyball. So today, let's talk about self-passing. <music> Have you ever heard the old saying that you have to control the ball and not let the ball control you? Well, that is some true facts. Today, let's work on self-passing and how to increase our chances of passing with success. You need yourself, an open space, and a volleyball. <music> Now there's a lot of different ways that you can self-pass, but first let's talk about what self-passing complete is. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have your platform, you're gonna set it to yourself and then roll shot it. That is a complete self-pass. There are two levels to this drill, the self-passing and catch and then the self-passing and roll shot. To start off the level one ball control, we're gonna self-pass it to ourselves set it and then catch it. This is gonna build the foundation for us to start learning how to pass to ourselves with control, with minimal movements. You wanna make sure that you're focusing on your platform. You wanna also make sure that we want to keep the ball in our space and we wanna have little body adjustment. We wanna be able to start passing it to ourselves repetitively without us moving a whole bunch. Practice it several times until you feel comfortable and competent to get the ball this way. Then once we start finishing that, we're gonna move forward. Remember that we wanna move our body as little as possible because we want to set and pass accurately. Here, we're gonna take it to the next level. Now you're gonna to start to pass repetitively. That means over and over again. We want to have little body movements and we want to keep it on target and receive the ball. This does take some practice, so work on it. thinking, Coco, why is this skill important? It's important because we have to be able to control the ball when we're passing to a target and we want to be able to receive the ball and understand how the ball moves in space. Now let's break down each part individually. After we've passed it repetitively, then you're going to set to yourself. Now this might be a little challenging for some people because if you're not a setter, it's going to uh, take a little bit of time. But once you get each of those parts individually, then go back to that pass, set, and catch. See how much better you do when you break down each piece individually before putting it together. Now here's for my big ballers. If you're ready to go a pass, set, and then roll shot, go ahead, do your level two. Pass, set, and roll shot. Now you're not gonna roll shot it like to a target across from you. You're gonna do a light roll shot and catch it. You're gonna see yourself move a little bit more here because roll shots tend to be a little bit uncontrolled, but that's where we're working on. Just roll it straight back down. We want to be serious, and if you wanna be serious, go nonstop. This is a hard challenge. Even for me, it's a challenge, but it keeps you going, and it's one way to keep your number one, your volleyball stamina up, but it also helps keep your volleyball eye ready. Now, once you've gotten this self-passing drill down, you're gonna need a partner, and I'm using my fiance here. You need a partner, a volleyball, and an open space. What you guys are gonna do is you're gonna arrange yourself so that way they can toss the ball to you. The first thing they're gonna do is give you a free ball, and then you're gonna try to receive that ball, but you're gonna pass it to yourself. No hands on the knees, ready position. Then you're gonna give it back. You're gonna receive it to yourself and then give it back. I know a lot of times we have difficulty getting the ball to the setter. So just make sure that you're trying to keep your body control, try not to fall down. And we're trying to make sure that we have that passing control that we need. Now, if you need to ramp it up, you can do a down ball. Teach your partner if they've never played before what a down ball is. Same thing, you wanna to try to control it as much as you can. It might be a little bit more difficult depending upon how hard your partner's hitting, but you want to receive it as well as you can. This is the type of ball that you can start getting to a target. Give it back to your partner, but you wanna make sure that it's something that they can set. We're not getting a ball that shoots out, but a ball that they can set. When I was playing high school volleyball, I was not a passer and I did not play black row. So passing is something that I had to work on at length. I want you to make sure that you are using your correct platform that your body position is correct and your eyes can see the ball. And I want you to just take your time. Practice does make improvement. 
and we have to practice the skills that we struggle with the most in order to get better. Passing was not one of my stronger skills, but it's getting better now. So I hope this volleyball video really helped you with your self-passing and that you liked it, share it with somebody who needs it, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.